right. So we're going to be focusing on, um, going to be focusing on the, um, how you say Joe Budden logic criticism and or hate. So in this video, it says the title of the video is crooked. Eye calls out Joe Budden for hating on logic. The real reason Joe Budden hates logic is probably because he still raps. He probably hates logic because he's a well, like talented rapper. And I guess Joe hates the fact, I feel like Joe hates the fact that logic is a talented rapper and can still bring in as much as he, he has now that he's not on Def Jam. Let's just see. Crooked Eye is calling out Joe Budden again, <sighs> and it involves Logic, and we're going to get to it. Why does Joe Budden hate Logic so much? Thanks. That's one thing we're going to try to analyze, but we also got to get into the recent comments that Crooked Eye made about Joe Budden. This all okay. happened on Twitter, so let's see what was up. Crooked Eye recently took to his Twitter and said, why does dude hate Logic? music so much that's a snap serious fact. question seriously now obviously dude equals joe budden and he did not want to say his name for whatever reason but later on he would say his name a lot of people have been calling out joe for his hatred of logic i still don't know why he hates logic so much yes you can say he's corny yes you can say he's whack but he has a sizable audience and that's just the facts however i would lean on and you know, just my theory here. I would lean towards the only reason why Joe Budden has this much fuel and or um malice towards logic is because logic responds and logic continues to respond versus any other celebrity like for instance he called out Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan ain't say nothing at all about uh, Joe Budden calling him out or any of the celebrities Joe Budden has called out and they have, they have not like reached back out and told him how they felt about him talking about them. They don't care. They just keep pushing on with their lives. It doesn't even matter versus somebody who uh, wears their probably wears their heart on their sleeve and you know cares about the perception of them like somebody like Logic who probably cares about the perception that is being put out there of him and so he decides to respond back and and not ignore it like every other opinion that comes up it comments like whatever Joe Budden says is, is said in in his. In, in Logic's comment section on his TikTok or on his Instagram or on his his Twitch his Twitch when he, whenever he goes live or his YouTube page like all of the all of the things that Joe Budden has said about Logic is literal stuff that trolls have said time and time again against Logic many times in the comment section. Me, I don't understand how he even cares that how he even invests this much time to care. So I would lean on Joe Budden is still stepping on Logic because Logic responds to his comments. Versus, um, like he said it in the he said it in a video one time. He said, uh, uh, uh he it was the needle drop. The needle drop did like has done mad reviews on Logic's music and and Logic is like, well, when I finally met the Needle Drop and I, I asked Needle Drop like, why, why'd you, you know, go so crazy on, on my album? Why'd you destroy my albums like this? He's like, he's like, what, like, why do you care? And Needle Drop said, why do you care about my opinion like that. He's like, because I love you. I'm a big fan of yours. I, I watched you before I even became a rapper. And he's like, so what, you know? And the whole, so what thing should, should lay claim here. It's, I mean, Joe Budden is nobody to you for real, for real. Like you don't know him from a can of paint. So it's like, so what, so what? He's just another critic. Like everybody else, every, every person 
who is able to use a camera phone, who is able to get a microphone, who is able to get all these accessories and talk about your music is going to criticize you in some form or some way. I have criticized you. And it's like, so what? You you signed up to be this famous, um, talented artist that is going to be criticized. So it's like, so what? Do your work, do your due diligence to be the best MC, the best producer, the best whatever you can be. And F the haters, man. Do what you do, bro. Like he he you did the you did the cover, the ice cube cover, and everybody uh uh everybody criticized it. But you said that Ice Cube, you texted Ice Cube before you decided to go and go do it. And Ice Cube was like, bro, do what you do. I don't care. Go ahead. So it's like, does not matter, bro. Like Joe Budden's opinion about you should not matter. You know, I think you're uh, 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 an amazing artist. I, I, you know, yeah, you, yeah, you've had uh, points and times where some of your albums didn't click that well, but like who, who's a perfect artist? What artist, what what artist makes uh ha, has no skippable albums or no skippable mixtapes? There's no artist on this earth that does not that that has a perfect discography or a perfect song that when you when you when you go and listen to it, it's like yes, each and every time I, I hear this artist, everything that they they do is gonna be on a level of like a plus. So it's like. F it, bro. Do you, you know? For one of the fans of, I guess, Joe Budden, or somebody <clears throat> who doesn't like Logic, says, as dope as you are, Crooked, it's no way you can listen to Logic and say he's killing it, bro. Just be rhyming words. That's a valid critique of Logic. However, Crooked Eye responded I guess so, to that yeah. by saying, what makes me curious is the fact that I've seen that platform Give props to lesser MCs. True. And Logic is on record saying that the last true messed with his mental state. So the double down means. Uh, okay, 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 wow. okay. That's another thing. See, that's another thing. The fact that Logic admitted that Joe's critique messed with his mental health is another reason why I think he still goes so extraterrestrial on logic is because like, well, if it's, well, if I, if I've affected you that much, you shouldn't even be next to a microphone. Then if I've affected you that much, you shouldn't be on, on social media talking about it. You should be seeking help, seeking help of a therapist instead of like trying to put it out there that I ruined you. Like I get that. I get that. Get that. Why? Why is it important to keep doing that? I think this is an interesting point because the Joe Budden podcast platform does hype up rappers that I think aren't as good as Logic. For example, one person is 2 Chains. I'm not saying he's not better than Logic, but what I'm saying is there was a point on the Joe Budden podcast where they were acting as if 2 Chains was like an offspring of Andre 3000. Like, you know, I just 2 Chains does with this. And I know he's a cool rapper, but come on. Yeah, man. he's a cool rapper, but he ain't, no just, <laughs> he ain't as good as Logic. I don't know. He ain't but as good as logic. One, this rapper that the Joe Budden podcast highlighted was straight up trash, garbage, less than average. One of the worst rappers I've ever heard. And that is King Combs. The baby of nepotism. But I don't even, okay I don't need, I only know one However, song and I don't King even Combs think he's that talented, talented to me. I'm be honest with you. Stratosphere and for Joe Budden to hate him is weird. I understand he's a white rapper. White rappers got to really earn it. And as you can see, and now, that, that's another that's another narrative. Right it's just because he's a half a half white, half black rapper. I I I I, do, I I truly don't understand like what the what the uh the greater hype it is of Joe Budden hating on Logic. I I those all those things I've listed is probably the reason why. But at the same time, it could be none of those reasons. It could just be, you know. It, he he could just be uh Joe Budden's you know pin cushion. That's it. He does it. There's there is no claim. There is no claim to why there could be no claim to why Joe Budden hates logic. You know. Um, in some people's eyes, they will never earn it. 
However, Crooked started getting a lot of backlash for what he said and decided to address the backlash that he was getting mostly from Joe Budden fans. Crooked goes on to say, Since y'all Joe Budden fans want to attack me all day, answer me this. One beat, 24 bars each. Joe versus Logic right now. Who washes who? That's the interesting thing. No, no, I ain't gonna lie on that one. Joe Budden actually takes that one. I ain't gonna lie. Like, are, are we are we talking about are we are we talking about like it's depending on what era of Joe Budden we're talking about. Are we talking about like Slaughterhouse Joe Budden? Are we talking about uh mood music Joe Budden? Because it's depending on which Joe Budden we're talking about. I'm not gonna auto I I take that back. I don't I'm not gonna automatically say that Joe Budden beats logic. Cause it's depending on which era of 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 uh uh mouse we're talking about here. Like, are we talking about mood music? Are we talking about uh um debut album Joe Budden? Are we are we or are we talking about Slaughterhouse Joe Budden? Because those are those are three different animals. Those are three different beasts. Same thing with logic. Are we talking about before he got signed to Def Jam Logic? Um in the middle of hit like him being signed to Def Jam Logic, or are we talking about mixtape Logic? Like like mixtape Logic? Are we talking about like? Because me personally, if we're talking about uh before he got signed to Def Jam Logic, Log- Logic before he got signed to Def Jam was eaten. I ain't gonna lie, he was eaten. He was a hyena. I ain't gonna lie to you. They kind of, uh, they kind of softened him up a little bit when he when he got signed to Def Jam. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be fair with you. Um, you know, like they turned, they tried to turn Logic into like a hit machine, and I think that's something that he does better than Joe Budden. It's the hits. If you're talking about like trying to do hits, I feel like Logic would dis- like absolutely destroy Joe Budden as far as hits go. If we're talking about like, hey, let's do a bar for bar song, there might be a little bit of a, hmm, you know, fight, fight for fight thing, fighter, you know, fight or flight thing, maybe possibly. Um, But it's depending on which logic we're talking about and which Joe Budden we're talking about. If we're talking about mood music, Joe Budden might be kind of hard, like a mood music, Joe Budden versus a young Sinatra logic. OK, now, hey. I don't know. It, it it might be neck and neck. I don't know because that's a that's a hung. First of all, that's a hungry Joe Button, and that's a hungry logic as well. Uh, uh, a young Sinatra logic is a, is a, is a is a whole hyena out in these streets. Um, but if we're talking about like Def Jam logic, he might I, I he might have to take take the loss to a like like a a, a a Def Jam Logic versus a uh, a um what is it E1 Joe Budden might have to take the loss I don't know maybe a mi- mixtape Joe Budden versus Def Jam Logic I don't know bro but let's get back into it premise to me because I think Logic is more more ready right now simply just because he's still rapping however prime joe button come on he cleans up logic yeah ain't gonna lie but i ain't gonna lie prime joe button is a problem i do think if joe button went on one of his classic rants one of his episode 437 firing rory and maul rants (laughs) probably make logic cry uh so that's one thing soon enough i guess joe button starts to read or at least starts to know that crooked eye is tweeting about his hate with logic because somebody to address at at him left crooked eyes name out i think joe budden is doing this because obviously he doesn't want to give crooked any visibility or make this bigger or maybe he just doesn't want to get into a war of words with someone like crooked who actually knows him so joe budden says a lot of people that swear to y'all they would hop off my beep have yet to do so men that i don't mention at all and never will if you don't like me you should stop liking the attention you get when you say my name stand on your own and be a man for a change that kind of rhyme maybe joe does want to rap but obviously he's talking about crooked he could also be talking about YouTube channels like mine, but I don't hate Joe Budden. Um, I'm just covering a man who I think is a fascinating test case for the intersection of internet and celebrity mm, and wow. media. So what do you guys what think? A, what, a, what, a way, what a way to like... A point. Is Joe Budden's continue hatred... What a way to com- of- compartmentalize what you... The, the, uh, the, the case in which you use Joe Budden's uh, different 
uh, content as a as a as a means to like you know start you know start a narrative that's crazy the way he answered that can I, can I go back let me go back real quick what did he just say go back what did he just cook what did he just say um i'm just covering a man who i think is a fascinating test case for the intersection of internet and technology. that is a very intelligent way to explain it so what do you guys think is crooked hating or does crooked have a valid point is joe Bunnan's continued hatred of logic a bit weird I mean, Logic has went on record and said that Joe Budden's critique of him has made his mental health worse. And also, if, if you remember, Joe Budden had a lot of negative words to say about Charlemagne for his continued attacks on Lakeith Stanfield, which I believe were related to mental health. And I think ultimately Joe Budden may need to rework his Logic hatred just because if it's affecting his mental health, it's probably best not to proceed this route. Michael B. Jordan's a different story, right? He hasn't said Joe Budden is bothering him at all. So I guess Joe can keep on there. But when someone says, hey, man, my mental health is messed up because you keep hating on me and you're actually it's like it, it's like it's like it's like when you when when you when you respond, when you decide to respond to something because your fans keep like letting you know that like, hey, Joe Budden is talking about you. Joe Budden is talking about you. Joe Budden is talking about you. And you finally respond to it. And now people are like, oh, why are you crying? Oh, man. Stop being a crybaby. It's just criticism. It's like, it's like I don't know. It's like at the end of the day, I'm I'm pretty sure logic is like I don't know how y'all want me to be. Do y'all want me to not say nothing, or do y'all want me to say something? That's that's just where I think it is. It's just like if I don't respond, um, you know, I'm this way. If I do, if I do respond, um, look at him crying. You know what I'm saying? That is an issue. Now, if Joe wasn't hating, if he was just saying, um, you know, I don't think he's a good rapper. Or, yeah. you know, I, I just think his Keep it simple. are pretty predictable and redundant. That's actual music critique. Keep it simple. Yeah, that's critiquing. Seems like a little bit more is going on. I don't know what it is. Well, actually, I have a guess as to what it is. I know he recently sat down with Rory and Moore. That too. Interview, but I don't think I forgot that's about that. it. However, that couldn't be I have it. a theory about why Joe Budden may hate Logic. And it's as simple as... Logic is the Eminem that Joe Budden can openly hate on with no repercussions. Mm. Go look at the episode where Joe Budden calls out Eminem. Go through that comment section. What will you Everybody find? Everybody says Logic. You will find a bunch of Eminem fans tearing Joe Budden apart. And mm -hmm. that just goes to show you the different levels of audience that certain people have. Versus a bunch of Logic fans tearing Joe Budden apart, which is not is not as strong as a comment section full of Eminem fans. Eminem fans are it's a it's a gigantic community of them. Like you say something you say something bad about Eminem, you about to get you about to get fifty thousand comments of people saying da 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 this and that and third. What you know about music? You don't know nothing about music, you you F word, da 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 you this you that like trust me i have said stuff about you can go through my you can go through my youtube and find a video where i said i didn't like an eminem verse and oh my goodness the comment section brah like the comment section is crazy like this one saying this about me that one saying that about me all because i didn't like a verse that eminem wrote like I I can have my own opinion about whether Eminem writes a good verse or not. Like, especially if I break it down as good as I can and say, hey, he's just this little these little rhyming patterns or syllables that he put together was just so lazy. Like he put this he rhymed this word with this word just to complete the whole entire rhyming pattern. And that's lazy to me. I can say that. Regardless of what any Eminem fan thinks. But see, the, the, the backlash of that is what all those Eminem fans say about me, say about my mama, say about my girlfriend, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't affect me at all because I can get off the internet and go about my business. Um, but for some reason, it affects them. So Eminem, Eminem fans... It, 
on 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 any comment section is I don't know they're they're very strong and they're very lethal. So whenever you talk about Eminem, just try your best to be proper. And even then, when you try to be proper, they're still gonna come for you. No, Joe Budden has his big fan base. Everybody has a fan base now. Everybody has their own um, little echo chamber of people, people they group think with. So it was odd to see that in that comment section, they got overwhelmed by the M fans. And on top of that, M has a lot of sway over Joe Budden's life. He's friends with Royce the Five Nine, and Royce the Five Nine would probably take a bullet for M. On top of that, there's people like Crooked, and Eminem is the person that I gave think him Joe a job. Budden believes had a part to play in the end of Slaughterhouse. The former rap collective known for their lyricism that could never overcome their chemistry issues. I used to love this group, Logic man. Steps in Why did they ever break up, bro? As talented, at least to me, as Eminem. However, Logic is a white rapper or white passing he's rapper. A mi- he's a mixed rapper. Joe Budden can hate on openly without any repercussions from the power players in his industry. I'm sure if he disses Eminem too hard and people like Revolt, there might be issues. There might be relationships. Mm-hmm. He's hurting. However, if he goes at Logic, he can you know get away with it nobody's gonna care a lot of people already think logic is corny i think one of the other reasons joe Budden says that he doesn't like logic is that he's used mental health to sell his records everybody knows joe Budden doesn't like when people use rollouts but i gotta say so what so what man maybe that song about 1-800 call for help was corny cheesy it still don't matter you know a lot of people do that i mean that song might have been corny to a lot of people but you gotta think about it like this that put food on his table that that that's that song probably helped pay the bill medical bills of of his uh, uh, uh of the mother of his children and his child like don't nobody don't nobody think to think that far into it but at the end of the day as long as a rapper or any artist has fans that will stand outside it's just like drake said any any rapper any artist who has dedicated fans that will stand outside for hours in rain sleet snow the sun to wait to see them and perform and wait to see them perform and know every word of every song buy every album stream every album watch every video and you know just know everything about the artist that they that they love that's all that matters this this is just it's 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 pennies it's potatoes like you know this is this is just this is what this is just what comes with being famous at the end of the day to me like you're you're never you're never gonna go into being a uh a a a person who's an entertainer without seeing backlash without seeing negativity even though you're a positive person you know isolate logic to me it demonstrates that there's a deeper darker criminal link and my theory style is that logic equals eminem and that's what makes joe budden go off so hard at least subconsciously that's just my perception and i think it mostly reflects on my understanding of joe brain but let me know what you think in the comments let me know if you think i'm bugging do you feel yeah, I don't. I don't. Like I don't think it goes that far. Of why Joe Budden hates. I don't. I don't think so it goes that far. That Eminem proxy. Let me know. And I also wanted to address something Joe Budden said on his IG live about me. He did it. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I don't think it has anything to do with. I don't think it has anything to do with logic being in in uh, a lesser Eminem. And Joe Budden using that to his advantage. I feel like it's just Joe Budden hated on Logic so much that it that his fans kept telling him about it, and they're like, "Hey, are you gonna say something about it? Are you gonna say something about it?" You know, or his or people close to him showing him videos of Joe Budden, you know, talking about him in a negative way, and it's just like finally when he says something, you know. Joe Budden uses it even more to his advantage because now he knows you are affected by it and now he's never going to stop talking about you. So it's just like, just like you said in your, in your, I, I believe on your TikTok, you said F Budden, 
And F anybody else who has a a criticism about me. I'm just going to do what I want. And honestly, I feel like he's doing what he wants, bro. I feel like he's doing what he wants. He's having fun, bro. He he's literally on TikTok just doing whatever he wants to do. You know, he's replying. He's talking to his fans. You know, he's he's doing everything he wants to do. And you know, now that he's, uh, I believe he's independent now. He dropped his uh, his latest album, College Park. He's just doing everything he wants to do. He's making the best music he can make, and I think that's all that matters. T. He's taking care of his kid, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's got his, he's got his chick with him and that's all that matters. I don't, you know, I I don't think there's anything else we can say here. 